Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse, and then in today's wonderful tutorial, learn about how to use SQLite in Julia, right? So, so what is SQLite? So SQLite is a software, a lightweight software that allows you to make queries, SQL queries, and then it's more like serverless. Like that, that means that you don't actually need to, you don't need to connect to a server to be able to make queries or interact with your database so what is sql it is as everybody knows it's a structured query language allowing you to make queries so first of all you need this package so pkg.add sqlite to you to have access to sql and to download it inside as your package right so the main aspect is that it allows you to do data definition whereby you can create alter and then drop it allows you to do data manipulation whereby you can insect update or delete and then also the normal query as the name goes to whereby you use the select. So there are some main tips about this package. So we have the jib SQL light.db that allows you to connect or create a database. And then we have the SQL light.execute bank that allows you to do all your manipulations, insecting, updating, deleting. And then we have the SQL light.query. That allows you to make your queries to select and then to read your file and the last one is the sqlite.register that allows you to implement your scalar function so let's see how it is so first of all using sqlite to be able to have access to the package and then let's see the models and the functions that this package has so it's having the register and this uh, macro and then the source string macro right which is this and then it's also having the data model and then the SQLite model. So that's all these things about that. So now let's see some of the things to do. So now let's learn how to create or connect to a database. So it's the same format to go to SQLite. The SQL is supposed to be capital, then light, then DB, right? So by this, you can be able to connect to your database or create a database. So let's call it as employment. Then data right dot db. So we are going to create it like that. So let's equate it as db so that you'll be able to work with it. Perfect. So that it has actually created it perfectly. Now you can now insect or create a table into it. So how do you create a table? To create a table is going to be quite simple. You just go with SQLite dot execute. So that is what it used to do all the manipulations. So execute. Then it takes two arguments to the DB for the database which refers to this. And then your SQL function. So to create one is going to be like this. So create table just like English. If not exist, workers. So we are creating a table called workers. And then we are giving it this columns, right? Okay. So what why are these in capital? So mostly in SQL it is usually cases, but to allow you to make it more readable, the inbuilt functions are usually made. As capitals and then the others are other cases so so quick table if the table does not exist the table name is called workers and then these are the columns so it's having an id and then it's having the data type as real the name is another column with the data type as test and then the age with the data type as real in a position as test so it's going to create it perfectly for us so 101 that has, that has compiled and then that has executed it now let's check for our Tables. So to check for our tables, just going to go with SQLite dot tables, then DB, referring to this database. So that's having only one nullable string of work if that is a table name. Perfect. So how do you insert data into it? Now we have created a table. We want to insert data. So to insert data, realize that it goes with this format. So SQLite dot execute, then the data, which refers to this, then insert into the workers table with this column and then these are the values that you will put in there right one nice thing about this is that although julia in julia this is going to be seen as a character but with this package it sees them as a string which is quite nice so it has executed it so if i check my database i can check my database with this software db browser for sqlite can download it everywhere and then you can just go to open Right, 
then we're going to open our database which, has, which we have already created which is going to be here then here right so this is what you created right perfect so we'll be checking it perfect so i can open it you realize that having one table and if i browse it there's only one name here there's only one name so now let's see how to insert more data there so to insert more data is going to be like this the same format i've typed it so that it come faster insert into workers there you define our columns then you define our values right so this is going to be our values perfect now it's going to insert it so if i check again and i go back to structure which is the same thing that we had here now if i browse so it's like just updated it with all of these data that we had here. okay so now to find the columns we want to find the columns of our table that we created it is quite simple just go with sqlite dot columns then it takes our database and then our table so the table that you want so workers it's going to list it perfectly for us which is quite useful right so you have two columns with real test real and then test okay so that is the main thing about it how to make queries how to create insert data how to create a table and then how to connect to the table so thank you for watching if you have any questions or contribution and just put inside the comment section so that everybody can benefit. And please don't forget to subscribe. Stay blessed.